أعوذ بالله السميع العليم من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونستهديه ونتوب إليه ونؤمن به ونتوكل عليه ونثني عليه الخير كله وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له ولي الصالحين وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله بلغ رسالة ربه وأدى أمانته ونصح لهذه الأمة فصلوات الله وسلامه عليه وعلى آله وأصحابه ومن اختفى أثره واهتدى بهديه وسار على نهجه إلى يوم الدين وسلم تسليما كثيرا عباد الله اتقوا الله عز وجل وأطيعوه قال الله سبحانه وتعالى يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن إلا وأنتم مسلمون وقال عز من قائل يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا يصلح لكم أعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يطع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما عباد الله اعلموا أن أحوال الناس يوم القيامة تختلف وتتباين على حسب أعمالهم وإيمانهم فمنهم صنف لا يحزنهم الفزع الأكبر وتتلقاهم الملائكة هذا يومكم الذي كنتم توعدون ثم يتفيئون ظلال الرحمن وهم لا خوف عليهم ولا هم يحزنون وهذا الصنف قد بينهم لنا صلى الله عليه وسلم لما وضع الله سبحانه وتعالى منابره تحت عرش الرحمن كما روى أبو مالك العشعري رضي الله عنه وعمر بن الخطاب رضي الله عنه أيضا يقول أبو مالك العشعري في روايته الذي رواه كنت عند النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم حين أنزل الله سبحانه وتعالى عليه هذه الآية يا أيها الذين آمنوا لا تسألوا عن أشياء إن تبد لكم تسؤكم قال أبو مالك العشعري رضي الله عنه فنحن نسأله صلى الله عليه وسلم حتى قال صلى الله عليه وسلم إن لله عز وجل عبادا ليس بأنبياء ولا شهداء يغبتهم الأنبياء والشهداء يوم القيامة بقربهم ومقعدهم من الله سبحانه وتعالى قال أبو مالك الأشعري وكان في ناحية القوم أعرابي فجثى على ركبتيه ورمى بيديه ثم قال حدثنا يا رسول الله عنه من هؤلاء قال فرأيت النبي صلى الله فرأيت في وجه النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم البشر فقال صلى الله عليه وسلم هم عباد من عباد الله من بلدان شتى وقبائل شتى ومن شعوب القبائل شتى لم تكن بينهم أرحام يتواصلونها بينهم ولا دنيا يتبادلونها بينهم يتحاربون بروح الله عز وجل يجعلهم الله سبحانه وتعالى يجعل الله سبحانه وتعالى وجوههم نورا ويجعل لهم منابر من نور ولؤلؤا قدام الناس لا يخافون حين يخاف الناس 
ولا يحزنون إذا حزن الناس ثم قرع صلى الله عليه وسلم هذه الآية ألا إن أولياء الله لا خوف عليهم ولا هم يحزنون الذين آمنوا وكانوا يتقون لهم البشرة في الحياة الدنيا وفي الآخرة لا تبديل لكلمات الله عباد الله هؤلاء الذين أنعم الله عليهم قال الله عز وجل ومن يطع الله والرسول فأولئك مع الذين أنعم الله عليهم من النبيين والصديقين والشهداء والصالحين وحسن أولئك رفيقا ذلك الفضل من الله وكفى بالله عليما بارك الله لي ولكم في كتابه العزيز ونفعني وإياكم بما فيه من الآيات والذك الحكيم أقول ما تسمعون وأستغفر الله لي ولكم ولسائر المسلمين من كل ذنب فاستغفروه وتوبوا إليه إنه هو الغفور الرحيم اللهم لك الحمد كما يبغي لجلال وجهك وعظيم سلطانك لا نحسي ثناء عليك أنت كما أثنيت على نفسك وصلى اللهم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه وسلم تسليما كثيرا أما بعد عباد الله all praises due to Allah سبحانه وتعالى we thank Allah for seeking His blessing His guidance and His protection whomever Allah سبحانه وتعالى guides no one can misguide him and whomever Allah سبحانه وتعالى mislead that is no one can give him the guidance. We bear witness that only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala deserve to be worshipped on this earth. And we be witness also that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he is the messenger and the servant of Allah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's blessing and his peace be upon him. Ibad Allah, once again, this is the call of Allah. Before every call, and the call of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala is, "Ya ayuha al-ladina amanu taqo Allah haqqat qati, wa la tamutunna illa wa antum muslimun." Ya ayuha al-ladina amanu taqo Allah wa qulu qawla sadida, yuslih lakum a'malakum wa yaghfir lakum dunubakum. Wa ma yuti Allah wa Rasulahu faqal fadi fauzan azima. Ibad Allah. Mankind in the day of the judgment. When we are going to meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we will stand before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala after Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made this earth in one level فَلَا إِذَا دُكَّتِ الْأَرْضُ دَكَّنْ دَكَّ وَجَاءَ رَبُّكَ وَالْمَلَقُ صَفًا صَفًا and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to come coming of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala do not ask how never ask about that الكيفية السؤال عن الكيفية بدعة. The moment that you ask how Allah is going to come, because Allah said وجاء ربك. He said he's going to come. Never ask how Allah is going to come. This question by asking it is going to make you become a mubtadi, somebody who is committing innovation. Do never ask this question. Allah سبحانه وتعالى said he's going to come. And the only way that you can interpret it is to say, Maji'an yaliqu bihi subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's it. He's the only one who knows how he's going to come. Waja'a rabbuka wal malak saffa saffa. Before the coming of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and angels are going to be in a totally parade, in line. They're going to be parade in line, waiting for the coming of Allah tabarak wa ta'ala. وَجَاءَ رَبُّكَ وَالْمَلَقُ صَفًّا صَفًّا Then, after that, وَجِئَ بِجَهَنَّمْ Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will send the angels to bring forth the hellfire. Allah began to say, يَوْمَ إِذِنْ يَتَذَكَّرُ الْإِنسَانِ وَأَنَّا لَهُ ذِكْرًا That is the day he may be is going to remember everything that he came to this world to do. 
from this day one to the end of his life, he is going to remember everything. But there is no time. It's too late for him. It's too late for him. About Allah. That is the day. يختلف الناس أحوال الناس يوم القيامة اختلافا وتباينا حسب أعمالهم وإيمانهم. People, every person, human beings are going to be there better. How everyone is going to be, it depends on according to their faith, iman, and according to what they come to do in this dunya. Sinful minimum, there is a, a group, a party, a jama'ah of them. It's going to be a group of the people. People will come in a group. So, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said that. Sinful minimum, a group of dead. لا يحزنهم الفزع الأكبر. The greatest destruction, greatest terror, greatest fear, and fasa, fear, horror. They will never feel anything. Lai Hasan Ahmed Fasa wal Akbar. They are not going to be grieved with that. No, there is no sadness, no fear. Lai Hasan Ahmed Fasa wal Akbar. Wa tatalaqahum al Malaika. During the time of the land of the gathering, and you will find the angels are walking in between them. And angels are giving them hope. Angels are giving them hope. And angels are telling them that This is the day. This is the day that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was waiting for you. That's the day that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is promising you. That is going to make you happy. It's not going to make you fear or grief or sad. No. ثم يتفيؤون في ظلال الرحمن. and they will spread themselves. these good people spread themselves because every person knows his position. he knows where where he's supposed to go. they know their directions. they don't need. It. no one will tell you where you are going. you know by yourself where you're supposed to go and and where where you can go. you know by yourself your position, your place. you know by yourself. There is no one is going to tell you go here or go here now. You know where I'm going. ثم يتفيؤون في ظلال الرحمن. They will spread. They will spread under the ظلال الرحمن, under the shadows of Allah تبارك وتعالى. Shadows of the throne of Allah تبارك وتعالى. وقبل ذلك وضع الله سبحانه وتعالى منادر من نور ولؤلؤ. Before then, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala set up manabir stages, platforms. Some of that platforms was made, was made from light, and some of them was made from the pearls. Manabir min nurim wal ula. Subhanallah And the angels, angels, they will meet the believers according to their faith and their deeds in this dunya. And they will tell them, لا خوف عليكم ولا أنتم تحزنون. Do not fear anything today, and you will never be sad. They will tell them this. About Allah, it is not time. We have not. We have not that enough time to explain to you who are those who are going to be under the shadow of Allah. But I will tell you, those who are going to be on that stage, on that manada, that platforms. To tell you who are going to be in the shade, there are a lot. The shade is a lot. But these manager, the, 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 the platforms, the platforms and the stages, those ones, they only are going to be the VIP. Higher class people, specific people, number of people, not everybody. And Messenger of Allah was mentioned in one of hadith, he said that, I am in one hadith is said that they're going to be on the right hands of Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala. And he said that both hands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala are right, right arms. Allah have no left hand. We have left and right. And Allah has no left hand. And this I'm telling I'm going to just discuss with you. 
about those who are going to be on that manager on that stage. There is a hadith that narrated by Umar ibn Khattab and Abu Malik al Ash'ari, radiallahu anhuma. Both of them narrated that hadith in this authentic hadith. But let me give you the narration of Abu Malik because he made it so details, that's why. Abu Malik is saying that I was there with the Prophet wasallam the day Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent doubt to him immediately fresh, fresh this ayah. I was there immediately when Angel came to me and gave him this ayah. Ya ayyuhal ladhina aman la tis'alu an ashya in tubudalakum tasu'ukum wa in tis'alu anha hina yunazzal al-Qur'an tubudalakum. I was there immediately when that ayah came to him. And when we heard the ayah, we continued asking him. We were asking him questions, multiple questions. We are piling questions on him. This will ask, this will ask. Hatta qala sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Through the message of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa open his mouth to narrate to us a story. The message of Allah told us. Inna lillahi ibadan laysu bi anbiya wa la shuhada. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have a certain, a certain servant, slaves, straight servant of Allah. They should be anbiya, they wasn't. They weren't anbiya, they are not the prophets, wala shuhada, and they are not the martyrs. They are not shuhada. Yagbithum al anbiya wa shuhada. Even the prophets and even the shuhada, they wish to be them, like, like them. They giving them al ghibba al ghibba is like jealous. They jealous of them, but this type of the jealous called by al ghibba is halal. To wish with somebody, you are not wishing the good things that he has to be off of him, but you are wish to be like him. That's called by al ghibba in Arabic language. It's not hasad, it's al ghibba. And they are jealous, and a good jealous that they will wish if they will be, if the prophets, messengers, they want to be like these people. They Allah Azza wa Jalla because how they are very close to Allah. And how where they are sitting close to Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala. Abu Malik was saying that Wakana fi nahiyatil qawmi a'rabiyun in one of the corners of the masjid. There is a one village Arabi in the corner of the masjid. And he moved his step forward to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam's face. And he knees down. He is down. Warama Biyadehi. And he threw out, he threw away his hands. Means he knees down and he threw like this. And he faced Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And he said, Ya Rasulullah, O Messenger of Allah, Hadithna Malkum. Who are these people that even the prayer messengers and the prophets and the martyrs are jealous of them? Faraitu fi wajhi Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam al bishop. And I saw it in the face of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam happiness. Faqal al Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the Messenger of Allah told the companions now, Hum ibadun bin ibadillah. They are just so, some of the priests, the servant of Allah tabarak wa ta'ala. Min bulyani shatta. They came from, they came from a different, different states, a different, different cities, a different, different countries. Remember that in Shatta, Wakaba in Shatta, and they are different, different tribes. Mushroom in Shatta, and they are different, different nations. These people, let the Qubayyum Alham yatawasaluna biha. They are living with a community that they supposed to live with. It by the qad of Allah. They live in a society with a society that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent them to live with them by the qad of Allah, by the decree of Allah tabarak wa ta'ala. It's not their choice to be in this community. It's not their choice to be in the community in Brooklyn. It's not their choice to be in the community in, in, the, in, in, in Prince or Bronx. No. And it's they are in the community. And that community, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one decided to be in that community. They know them nowhere. They are not coming from the same nation, not the same tribe, not the same country, not the same place. They don't know them anywhere. But they're just living with 
them wala kinnahum bad for them wala dunya tabadaluna hadiha they do not live with them because of they want some, some favors from them from help because they need hand because they need help it's not like because of that they live with them because allah decided that so they tahabuna bi ruhillah they love one another by the spirit of allah tabarak wa ta'ala love by the spirit of allah al hubb bi ruhillah azza wa jalla these are the people allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allah said ja'al allah wujuhahum nura allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make their faces from nur from light wa ja'ala lahum manabir min nur wa lulqa and allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made a stage and a platform for them that platform is made from the light and from the bells message of allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said la yakhafuna idha khafa an-nas when everybody is going to be in the state of fear anxiety anxious scared terror for them not they don't fear anything when the help is coming to pass and when the messengers they will say allahumma sallim allahumma sallim allahumma sallim people are crying no heavens no moon no sun no anything even the sun that is there was close to the people everybody is scared terror hell horror everybody's in the fear but for these people messenger of allah said la yakhaf la idha khaf nas for them they are not fear you look at their faces you can see that they are in the happiness they are in the joy subhanallah wa la yahzanuna idha hazana an-nas they don't think about the any sadness what is going to happen for them in the future they don't think about that that, that. abu malik al umar ibn khattab said ثم تلا قوله سبحانه وتعالى دم سيدنا في الله وسات الجزاء الا ان اولياء الله لا خوف عليهم ولا هم يحزنون الذين امنوا وكانوا يتقون لهم البشرى في الحياه الدنيا وفي الاخره لا تبديل لكلمات الله ديس بيبل دي ار ذا لويرز اوف الله دي ار ذا الايز اوف الله تبارك وتعالى دي ار ذا فريندز اوف الله اولياء الله لا خوف عليهم ولا هم يحزنون they love these people with the spirit of allah and that love will reflect reflect to allah tabarak wa ta'ala that allah love them when allah love them allah make them his friends and then they become the loyal helpers to allah tabarak wa ta'ala and they become the allies of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he will never disgrace them no allah will never disgrace them because he loved them he loved them before they die and he will never disgrace them yes allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said ala inna awliya allah la khawfun alayhim wa la hum yahzanun and allah subhanahu wa ta'ala continue reciting the ayah ala inna awliya allah la khawfun alayhim wa la hum yahzanun alladhina amanu wa kanu yattaqun allahu akbar if you keep these two qualities al iman wa taqwa You keep these two qualities you will be among the beloved ones of Allah Subhanahu wa ta'ala al iman good faith a faith a faith that not mingling ghayr mutalabbis it is not mingling with the nifaq the hypocrisy our bid'atan our makran you do not mingle it with anything it's a clear and pure and pure faith iman khalis pure iman وكان يتقون ان دي ار فيري فيري كوشس اوف الله كوشن اوف الله تبارك وتعالى بيس تقوى تو فيا الله يو دو وات ايفر هي اكس يو تو دو اكوردنلي اند يو ستوب ايفريثينغ ذات هي اكس يو تو ستوب ات اول داز ذا مين اوف تقوى يس يو دو وات الله سبحانه وتعالى اكس يو تو دو اكوردنلي دو اس ماتش اس يو كود اند تو ستوب وات ايفر الله سبحانه وتعالى فوربيس and that what you stop it at all then you have the taqwa you have these two qualities allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will grant you a good news from this dunya before you die you will know your standard you will know your position you will know your place before you are going to die and allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said alladhina amanu wa kanu yattaqun 
لهم البشرى في الحياة الدنيا وفي الآخرة لا تبديل لكلمات الله الله سبحانه وتعالى is going to show them is going to show them to the al-bushra to the good news to the glad tidings they will see that one to the glad tidings in this dunya and the hereafter Ubadat ibn Samit radiyallahu anhu when he was interpreting this word that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said lahu al-bushra fi ayat al-dunya wa fi al-akhira and he said al-bushra here الرؤيا الصالحة يا راح المؤمن أو يرانا. You are this. You have these two qualities. Sometimes when you sleep, you will find yourself somewhere. You will find yourself in the sky. You are wearing white clothes. You will find yourself. You will see yourself. You are going to the Jannah. You will see yourself in your dream that the angels they came to you died and the angels came to you and you answer the questions. And they give you firash and min al jannah, a bed from the jannah. You will see it before you die. لهم البشرة وعبارة ابن الصامت سادة رؤيا يا راح المؤمن هو بنفسه أو يرى له or somebody will see for him. Somebody will come and tell you that last night I dreamt about you and I saw you that you are in jannah. I saw you that Allah subhanahu wa taala. to you in a very good position the day of the judgment I saw you that the day of judgment you are wearing a white cloth and you were happy you will see it in the day of the judgment Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give you that stage Ibadullah this is the first part we said that asnaf right we said human beings that day they're going to be in two groups so A group that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give them the shed. We do not talk about the shed. We only spoke about that stage. That's the highest place. If you want to be in that stage, you just need to love your Muslim brothers only because of Allah, for the sake of Allah. You love them. You help them. You work for them. You contribute with them. You stand for them. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will love you and give you that stage. But the second, second one maybe is a little bit stronger. Second one is a little bit stronger. That one is hadith from the Abdullah ibn Umar radiyallahu anhu. Abdul ibn al-As said, Al-Muqsitin, عند الله يوم القيامة على منابر من الروح من النور عن يمين الرحمن وكلتا يديه يمين الذين يعذبون في حكمهم ومعاب 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 Abdullah ibn Amr said in this hadith is in the book of Imam Muslim rahimahullah ta'ala he said the number two group who are going to be at that stage they are the leaders they are the leaders the leaders mean that everybody can be in this the leaders are who? somebody who is going to lead entire country a governor can lead a state a mayor who leads the city a president who is leading the community in his masjid. He also is a leader, a leader, a father who is ruling his own home. Messenger of Allah said, these al-Muqsitin, these people who are going to deal with their responsibilities, with the justice, Muqsitin, ala manabirin min nur, they are going to be in this member, in that state of light. Ayyamin al-Rahman, they will be very special on the right hand of Allah. Though, both hands of Allah are on rights. And Messenger of Allah was explaining them. He said, Those who are dealing with justice of whatever they rules and with their own families. They are very justice with their own families. They will be in that one. And this one, everybody can fight with each other. Let's go to the uh, Surah of Thani. The second group. The second group was saying that sulfun yushabuna ala wujuhihim fi nari wa yuqalu lahum zuqu masasaka A group that they are going to be dragging them on their faces all the way to the hellfire and the angels will tell them that zuqu masasaka zuqu masasaka taste the torch the torch of the sakar And the angels will tell them that ulaika shabu makana wa abalu sabila. These are the worst human beings that you can see ever. As the worst maybe. Messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam was telling us 
Haula in Asnaf, this group. And he said, this group, there are 11 groups. There are one group divided into 11 types of deeds, 11 types of acts that somebody is going to do will cause him to be indecent. Because these people, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will never drag somebody with his face all the way to the hellfire with a mean full way, mean full way without that person make Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala very, very angry of him. The day of the judgment. Some people, they will come the day of the judgment. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, La yukallimu, he doesn't want to talk to them. Wala yanzuh ilayhim, the worst of all. Even he doesn't want to look at them. Hasbunallah wa ni'mal wakil. Hasbunallah wa ni'mal wakil. What, what, you, what, you, what are you going to do that will make Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala even just want to look at you? You will lose even the common look of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Meanwhile, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will take a look of many men, even the kafirs. But for you, Allah said, He doesn't want to even look at you. You lose, you miss even the look of Allah. When I was a king, and Allah said that, I promise, He said, He promised, He will never forgive them. Who are those people? Messenger of Allah started describing to us. One of them, you will find it in Surah Al Baqarah. Allah wa ta'ala said, This one, in the Tumuna, Ma anzal Allah min al Kitab, wa yishtabuna bihi thamana qalila, ulaika ma yakununa fi butunihim illa al nar, wala yukalimuhum Allah yom al Qiyama, wala yuzakihim wala hum adab al Ali, ulaika al ladin ishtarum al Balala bin Huda. And this one goes to the Imams, Sheikhs, Imams and Sheikhs, right? And the Islamic scholars. This one goes for them. Allah said, Inna ladini yaktumuna ma anzalallah. Those who are hiding, try to hide because of certain benefit, because of worldly matters, because of something dunya, something worldly. And they will hide the truth. They will hide it. People do that one. People do that one. How many people you will ask them that one? Is the Maudis in the Quran? And you will tell them, yes, Maudis in the Quran is not haram. Maudis, Maudis, yeah. How many people you will tell them that? There is certain things that people invented. Do you will tell them it's not in the Quran? And they will make a fake statement. They will forge a statement from the Quran. And they will try to misinterpret it and give it to hide the truth. يَكْتُمُونَ مَا أَنزَلَ اللَّهُ مِنَ الْكِتَابِ وَيَشْتَرُونَ بِهِ ثَمَنًا قَلِيلًا Because they want something very little. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, whatever they want to earn out of it, مَا يَأْكُلُونَ فِي بُطُولِهِ إِلَّا النَّارِ It's going to be fire in their stomachs. It's going to be fire in their belly. وَلَا يُكَلِّمُهُمُ اللَّهُ وَيَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala never talked to them in the day of judgment. وَلَا يُزَكِّمَ وَلَهُمْ عَذَابٌ عَلِيمٌ They have a painful punishment. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, وَلَيْكَ الَّذِينَ اشْتَرَمُ الْبَلَالَةَ بِهُلَا They exchange, they exchange misleading, to, they exchange lead, lead guidance to take a misguide. اشْتَرَمُ الْبَلَالَةَ بِهُلَا فَمَا أَصْبَرَهُمْ عَلَى النَّارِ How are they going to be patient? For how long they will be patient with the hellfire? When they go to the hellfire, and the hellfire starts burning them, and they will still remain quiet, they are getting patient. And it will never continue. You cannot be present the whole time. May Allah bring the happiness of us. This other one. And number two. Allah Taala quote Allah said, "Inna ladin ashtaruna bi ahdi Allah wa aymanihim thamana qalila." Somebody who will intentionally swear, he will swear of something. He will claim something. He will claim something that is not belongs to him. Because he wants something that he's thinking that he's going to give him some benefit. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, even after he gained it, he has no portion in the day of the judgment. Because Allah is not going to talk to them. Allah will never clean them. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala decides to punish them. Number one, those who are hiding the truth. Number two, people who are trying to deceive them. That's number two. And number three, Abu Dhabi radiallahu anhu said that, Messenger of Allah said a time, 
ثلاثة and three people لا يكلمهم الله الله is not going to talk to them يوم القيامة ولا ينظر إليهم الله is not going to look at them ولا يزكيهم الله سبحانه وتعالى is not going to purify them clean them from their sins made so he's not going to forgive them three people and Messenger of Allah repeated that word three times and Abu Dhabi said that خابوا وحصروا يا رسول الله these people they fail and they lost يا رسول الله فقال مسجد فارس سيدنا يس دي فيل ان دي لوس وان اوف ذيم از المنان المنان از ذا ريمايندر ايفريثينغ ذات هي جيفز هي ريمايندر اف هي هيلب يو هيلب يو يو ذا هارت وان دي اي جيف يو ذا تايم هارت شو اي جيف يو ذا شو اي جيف مسجد ذيس ماني لا حول ولا قوه الا بالله ريمايندر اف ذاتس يور جوب راس وات يو دو نو ذات الله سبحانه وتعالى از نوت جوين تو فورجيف يو ذا دي اوف ذا جادجمنت والمسبل ازابه And those who are are dragging their pants and their uh, uh, clothes, most of them is a pant. As long as your pant it is over over than your knees, you are in a big problem. Messenger of Allah sallallahu said, "Ma asfal al kaabay al final." Every pant that is beyond, pass beyond your knees. No, every pant that beyond your ankle. Every part, a part that beyond your ankle or a, a big, big clothes that beyond your ankle is going to be in the hellfire. And because of that, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not going to look at you. That's number two. How many people are driving their pants on when they're walking? And they don't care whether if they pass their ankles or not. Hasbunallah wa nima wakil. Wal munfiqu sal'atahu bin alf al-kadir. And somebody who is selling, buying and selling with the lies and, the, and, and the swearing. I swear I bought it 200. You just give me 210. Haram. I swear I bought it 180. You just buy it 200 from me. Just add me 20. I swear. This one's al al Kadi. They lie when they are selling. This is another one. So we have number six, number six, seven, eight. Messenger of Allah so said that these seven, eight, we are making it, we are breaking it very quickly. One of them is Ushay Mutun Zani, Al Sheikh Zani, and all the person who's committing zina. This crazy. He's old. He's old, but still he is committing fornication and adultery. Zina. Come on. What do you want? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, He's not going to forgive and he's not going to look at you. If he's not going to talk to you, they don't have judgment. And many who can that were feel wiet in Imam a leader who is dealing with his people with unjust, or a leader who is lying. He lies too much to his people. Malik al Kadhab. Manadarika, uh, uh, we call it Imam, Imam al Kadhab. A leader who is lying to his people. You are leading your group, your people, your community, and you lie to them too much. You lie too much. You are in trouble. Big, 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 big one. Big trouble. And the last one, it is I am a Mustakbar, a poor person who is very, very arrogant. Who is very, very arrogant. And the last one that remains. Somebody who is disobedient to his parent. A disobedient person to his parent. That person is not going to see Allah. Allah is not going to look at him. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not going to forgive him. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will never speak to him. Somebody who is disobedient to his parent. And the woman, the woman who are wearing the pants. Every woman who wears a pant, and that pant shows, scholars are saying that she's going to be counted of them. Unless, if that pant it is beyond her, her, her ankles, if the pant beyond her ankle and she put big clothes on it, that one is good, no problem. But as long as you can see the pant above of her ankle, and that means she's in big problem. Al-Mar'ah, Al-Mutarajila, a woman who is wearing the pants, and the pants is showing on her. That woman, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not going to forgive her. Allah is not going to talk to her. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not going to is not going to look at her. That's a big problem. And the last one is at the youth. At the youth is a man who doesn't care of how how people are dealing with his wife, his children, his sisters. He doesn't care to see that his wife is holding men. All his daughters were holding men. All his sisters are holding men. He doesn't care about that one. He doesn't care even to see that uh, the men are talking to his family members, uh, wife, sister, or daughters, uh, talking to them publicly. He 
doesn't care about that one. He doesn't care even to, to live under a man, a stranger, with his wife in the same roof and leave them and go. No, you do that when you are called at the youth and the day of the judgment, you are in a serious problem. These are the sinful talents. These are the people that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Yushabuna ala wujuhuhim finnari. They are going to be dragged on their faces to the hellfire. Okay? And the angels will tell them that Zuku Masasakar means that taste how the sakar is too high and strong. Taste it. Taste the taste, taste the torch of the sakar. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forbid all of us and have mercy on all of us. Ibadullah. Sallu wa sallim ala nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. ورد الله من خلفاء الراشدين أبو بكر وعمر وعثمان وعلي وعن بقية أصحاب النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم وعنا معهم بمنك وكرمك أحسنك يا رب العالمين اللهم عز الإسلام والمسلمين وعدل الشرك والمشركين ودمر أعداءنا أعداء الدين وانصر اللهم عبادك الموحدين في كل مكان اللهم اجعل هذا البلد آمنا مطمئنا رخاء سخاء وصائل بلاد المسلمين برحمتك يا رحم الرحمين يا حي يا قيوم برحمتك نستغيث أصلح لنا شأننا كله ولا تكلنا إلى أنفسنا طرفة عين اللهم يا فارج الهم يا كاشف الغم مجيب دعوة المضطرين رحمن الدنيا والآخرة ورحيمهما اللهم ارحمنا برحمة من عندك تغنينا به عن رحمة من سواك يا من يجيب دعوة المضطر إذا دعاه ويكشف السوء عن من ناداه اللهم اكفنا بحلالك عن حرامك اللهم اكفنا بحلالك عن حرامك اللهم اكفنا بحلالك عن حرامك واغننا بفضلك وكرمك وجودك يا رب العالمين سبحان ربك رب العزه عما يصفون وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين اقوم الى صلاتكم يا رحمه الله